Hi guys, my name is Rhea and welcome to today's match day preview. Tomorrow, Chester Playway at Dagenham and Redbridge. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It's becoming a bit of an addiction for me now with all of these long trips, but Dagenham's in Essex in London, so another five hour trip for me tomorrow. Yeah, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So it's going to be a good day out. So far this season, Dagenham and Redbridge have done quite well, but over the past month or so, they've lost quite a few games. At the start of the season, they were one of the favourites to get promoted, and they were in the playoffs. But over the past month, as I said before, they haven't been. They've been quite a bit of trouble too. There are quite a few teams now in this league who have got financial troubles, and Macclesfield are one of them teams too. Their owner has pulled out of the club and he's left them with hardly any money so they've they've struggled quite a lot um lately. They currently they're eleventh so they've slipped from like fifth place to eleventh over the last month or two so they've picked up some poor results lately and on Tuesday night they lost one nil away at Dover which it wasn't a good result for them either so you know, it's quite sad when clubs struggle off the pitch and they're in danger of going out of business. But yesterday they arranged a friendly with the West Ham first team next month, I think, to raise some funds for the club. You know, so it's not just us now. It's Dagenham, Torquay, uh, Hartlepool and Chester too, who... They've got money problems, but thankfully for lo for us, sorry, um, so thankfully for us, we are on the up now. We've raised over eighty grand, so we should be okay. But for Dagenham, Torquay, Hartlepool, they still they're still in trouble financially. But tomorrow's game it won't be too easy. Um, our current form hasn't been too good either, but. Our performances have picked up, so hopefully we will win tomorrow, but it's not going to be easy. Dagenham Stadium is called the Chigwell Construction Stadium, or otherwise known as Victoria Road. It holds over 6,000, and it's a nice ground by looking at these photos. Um, you got the big stand behind the goal, which is actually the away end. Tomorrow's game is not... so. Um, it's not unsegregated, it is segregated. So we will have the big stand behind the goal. It's also got the changing rooms and the tunnel, so the teams will come out there. Then the other goal, it's an open terrace, so, you know, quite simple. Then to the left of the big stand, you got another seated covered stand. Uh, it's also raised above pitch level, but it looks good. Then opposite that is a covered terrace. So, yeah, I think Dagenham's ground is quite nice. It looks good, fairly modern. Um, they were in the Football League a couple of years ago, so, yeah, it looks good. We will be taking another good following down to London tomorrow. I was hoping in around the 200 mark, which would be a great amount for that distance. But also we have exiles too, but... You know, I, I would presume we will take a strong following to Dagenham, which would be really good. Dagenham's current form hasn't been too great. On Saturday the 20th of January, they lost 2-1 away at Sutton United. Then on the following week, they lost 3-1 at home to Solihull Moors. Solihull Moors have been struggling for the whole of the season, so that was a bad result for Dagenham. Then after that they lost 2-0 at home to Aldershot. That was the game on BT Sport, but Aldershot are a good team. Then on Saturday the 17th, 17th of February, they won 3-0 away at Torquay. So that was a good result for them. Then most recently they lost 1-0 away at Dover last Tuesday. Dover are another team who are near the playoffs, fighting for a spot. So that's a bit of a blow for Dagenham. But they'll be looking to get back to winning ways against us tomorrow. Our recent form has been quite mixed. 
On Tuesday the 23rd of January, we drew one all at home to Hartlepool. Then on the following Saturday, we lost 3-0 away at Maidenhead. And also on the 10th of February, we lost 1-0 away at Woking. But last Saturday, we beat Eastley 3-1 at home. I thought that was a really encouraging performance and we were really good that day. Then our last match was on Tuesday and we lost 1-0 at home to Leighton Orient. I thought we played OK, but in the second half, we just um, we just dropped too deep and let Leighton Orient win the game. But that was encouraging too, so hopefully we can put in another good performance tomorrow. Due to Dagenham's current financial problems, they've had to let some of their key players go. But one of their key players is still at the club and his name is Michael Cheek. Michael Cheek is a striker who only signed in the summer but has already scored a lot of goals this season. Last season he played for Braintree and he scored 19 goals but they still got relegated so he is a good goal scorer, an actual goal scorer and I've heard that a lot of football league clubs have been after to sign him too so he's done well this season for Dagenham and he is their key player in my opinion. So tomorrow our defenders like Ryan Assel, Sean Hobson or whoever plays will have to keep him quiet if we are to have a chance of bringing something back to the Diva Stadium. But Michael Cheek, he's a natural goal scorer, has um, experience at this level and he's already scored against us this season. Uh, he scored twice, so um, hopefully... He, um, Hopefully he won't score tomorrow. <laughs> so it will be another early start for me tomorrow morning. I will be leaving around 9ish, so it will take about 5-6 hours to, to get to Dagenham. It should be another good away day out. I'm really looking forward to it. I will upload my highlights of the match after the game. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.